Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. In this episode, we'll show you how Elon's first disruption is already well underway and how you are being affected by it. Do you even know what it is? Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a checkbook. Up until the year 2000, it was about the only way other than cash to transfer money from one person to another. In fact, checks became a big part of our culture. Working paycheck to paycheck. Be careful he doesn't write a bad check. Your check's in the mail. Even today when you go to a bank and set up a new account, you usually have the choice between a savings and, yeah, you guessed it, a checking account. Yet this simple piece of paper was an important innovation because it meant that you didn't need to load up a carriage with bags and bags of coins and drive them hundreds of miles to transfer money from one person or business to another. All of a sudden, a simple piece of paper would do the trick. So much easier, so much faster. So much cheaper, so much safer. Now that's innovation. So wait, let me get this straight. Throughout human history, there were only a couple disruptions that changed how people moved wealth? Right. There was the first disruption when humans went from bartering goods to a system of money. Yeah, everything from gold coins, iron sticks, uh, wampum, anything that represents value and could be traded and exchanged for goods and services. Yep, and that lasted for centuries until a system of checking developed so that people could transfer this wealth over vast distances easily and securely. The next innovation occurred in 1999 when Elon Musk co-founded a startup called x.com with the idea of being able to email money. How is this an innovation? Weren't there like wire transfers? Yeah, you could walk down to a Western Union office, for instance, and transfer money, but it was expensive and time consuming. What about credit cards? Were you really gonna share your credit card information with strangers on the internet in 1999? Wait, so how did you buy stuff on eBay back then? So think about this for a second. In 1999, people were using email to send messages. Elon had the idea to use email to send more than just words. He wanted to use email to send money between people. Oh, I get it. This made it a lot less scary to send money because all you were doing was sharing your email address, not your banking information. Right, and in 2000, X.com merged with Cofinity, which owned PayPal, and Elon became the CEO of PayPal. Elon was the biggest shareholder in PayPal when it got bought by eBay in 2002. Elon went on to use the millions of dollars he received from the sale of PayPal to fund his future companies. Have you figured out the first of Elon's disruptions that you are affected by today? PayPal was the first way most people safely paid for things on the internet. Elon disrupted global banking. His idea, a deceivingly simple one, the ability to transfer money over the internet disrupted the world of banking and established a new industry, e-commerce. For without the ability to safely and quickly send money between people and businesses, how would eBay have ever worked? And let's be honest, eBay was the gateway for many people to experience internet commerce, e-commerce for the first time. To show people that it could work to buy a beanie baby from a guy's garage in Ohio and transmit money instantly from an account thousands of miles away into his bank account, with no risk. Once people experienced this, they were hooked. E-commerce took off, mail order catalogs started dying, and the idea of driving to brick and mortar stores lost much of its appeal. In 1999, when Elon got this idea, e-commerce sales in the US were $15 billion, less than 1% of retail sales in the US. Today, more than 14% of all US retail sales take place online with over $500 billion in sales. Think about how e-commerce has changed everything. For better or for worse, it has changed the landscape of our world. It has enabled businesses to pop up anywhere and everywhere. Amazon is the largest online retailer with almost 50% market share, but over half of their sales come from third-party sellers. Over 1.7 million individual sellers around the world many of which have no physical storefront at all, just an internet connection, a computer, and an entrepreneurial spirit. Banks have had to adapt because of Elon's disruptive idea. Would you open an account with a bank today if they didn't at least offer online access to your account? Many banks today offer services like direct deposit, 
electronic bill pay, electronic transfers, checking your balance on a smartphone. Heck, now you can even deposit a physical check with a smartphone just by taking a picture of it. And now there are banks that have no physical presence at all. No human tellers, no brick and mortar branches. The banking system has been disrupted. But don't take our word for it. At your next office meeting or dinner party, ask how many people use PayPal instead of writing checks or going to the ATM to take out cash. But wait a minute, people my age don't use PayPal anymore. We use Venmo. Good point. Venmo is super easy to use right on your phone. And that's why PayPal bought it. Oh, so I'm not using my email address, but I'm still moving money over the internet on PayPal's platform, which is just an extension of Elon's original idea. The global banking industry in 2018 comprised over half a million businesses, employed over 10 million people, and had revenue of $2 trillion. That entire industry has changed how it does business now, in part because of an idea that Elon Musk had 20 years ago. A $2 trillion industry disrupted by one of Elon's first companies. And we're just getting started. I hope you'll join us on our next episode of Elon the Disruptor. Thanks for watching. Now you know. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.